Well, in this lab, we are going to explore ingress again, as I mentioned in the uh, previous lab or previous video. This time, we are going to create the internal ingress. Ingress, which is not holding the public IP address or ingress, because in last video, we defined ingress as, uh, as a Kubernetes resource, which allows uh, external access to the Kubernetes services. But this time we are not going to do that, but utilizing a different functionality of ingress, where it would be acting as an internal ingress or internal uh, load balancer, more or less. So, uh, this internal uh, ingress ca uh, can be configured for routing. Okay, that means uh, ingress routing rules, which can be utilized to divert the traffic to the multiple applications, just like in application gateway. So. An ingress controller is a piece of software that provides a reverse proxy, configurable traffic routing, and TLS termination for Kubernetes services. And in our lab, this would be a little big lab. Uh, it will take some time. So let me let me take you through the steps. And as the lab will finish, you would understand what we were trying to accomplish if you are not clear right now. So we need AKS cluster. I'm using the same cluster that I have been using from multiple lab uh, videos. We will create an application gateway as well. You can create, I, I have created AKS as an Azure CNI. I have used the same virtual network for the application gateway. You can use same or different, uh, you can try various uh, scenarios. But in this particular uh, video, I have AKS cluster in ADC, virtual. it's the name of my virtual network. And I have created another submit for the application gateway, same application gateway that I used in the previous one. I just refrain to uh, recreate it because it takes time. I just removed everything, make it hollow, like simple, no configuration. Uh, then we'll, we'll create ingress controller, Nginx ingress controller. Uh, we'll create a new namespace so that it will help us to segregate the entire uh, lab that we're doing and it will help us to delete in a single go. Uh, in this lab, uh, this, this particular lab I'm doing with the help through Microsoft documentation, I'll share the link below. And uh, we are going to use Helm in this lab and Helm will help us to install the ingress. We are going to define the private IP to this ingress proactively. <clears throat> then uh, we are going to run two applications, two different applications behind the services and do the routing rules on the ingress so that uh, as per the routing rules, these the traffic would be diverted to these one of these applications, just like uh, we have in application gateway. Uh, once, and then we'll create a testing port and uh, test the, uh, this uh, ingress internal, and then we'll add this ingress as an backend for the application gateway, and we'll not configure the routing rule in the application gateway. It would be the basic uh, uh, configuration for the load balancing, not like path-based routing or multi-site routing, but uh, <clears throat> ingress as a backend or the ingress routing rule will do this uh, uh, routing for us. Uh, so app gateway will give the VAF functionality or the public access functionality and ingress controller, internal ingress controller will take care of the other aspect. So let me quickly share my screen and start it. Okay, well, by default an ingress uh, controller is uh, Nginx ingress controller uh, created with the dynamic public IP address assignment. Uh, a common configuration requirement is to use internal private network uh, IP, private IP address, uh, proactively in the in the in the YAML file. I'll show you. Uh, this approach allows you to restrict the access to your service to internal users only, with no external access. I'll show you that. 
let me take it to the lab environment. This is the application gateway. You see no target, nothing. And if I go here, I have the same Kubernetes service, ABC cube. Uh, okay, nothing much. And I can show you uh, there is no ingress controller. Okay, well, we are not going to use the ingress controller this time. <clears throat> now, if I uh, show you, I have multiple YAML files placed here. Uh, AG IC we used in the previous video. This time we're gonna use Hello World as one of the application. Hello World Ingress as in another application. Uh, Ingress demo contain, care, contains the routing rules to these different applications. And internal Ingress YAML will help us to create the Nginx Ingress. So what I did here, let me show you if I cat this, you'll find, uh, this is the very uh, uh, load balancer IP address. This IP address is my private IP address. You need, to, you need to define it proactively and make sure this is not in use. Okay, and then I'll show you Helm. If I do Helm repo list, I have these two uh, repos uh, already connected here. Uh, this one we used in the previous uh, video. This is we are going to use in today's video. If you do not know how to do that, you just need to simply uh, run Helm repo uh, add ingress. Let me do this. Helm repo add. And here you need to give the name of your uh, <coughs> Helm and then the uh, repo. If I do, it would say it's already exist, right? And if you wanna see what all is there, you can simply do Helm repo list and you can also remove it. If you do Helm help, you would have all that information that you need to remove or pull repo, get uh, uninstall. This information is here already list. That's what I used, right? Okay. We have something here as well. Anyways, this is this is not for uh, Helm. Uh, just wanted to inform though. So the very first thing, so our task one AKS cluster is there. Second task app gateway is there. Third task ingress controller. We have seen the configuration of ingress. Uh, in internal ingress dot YAML file with the IP that I showed you. Now, the another task, we created the namespace as an ingress basic. Repo, Helm repo is already there. Now, what I'm doing, I'm trying to create the Nginx ingress controller with the help of Helm and the internal ingress ML file that I showed you where we already have uh, the internal IP proactively put there because by default, it creates the dynamic public IP and we don't want that. We only want the internal one. So uh, this is the command I used under the namespace ingress hyphen basic, and it will create the Nginx uh, ingress controller for us. And as soon as the ingress controller is there, <clears throat> I'll show you the MS documentation link that I'm following for this lab. Uh, that's why I use this. And it simply says you can go ahead and do a get service O white for Nginx Ingress Controller just to see if it has been created or not. And I think uh, it also says it may take a few minutes for load balancer IP to be available, right? Okay, now let's go ahead quickly and check that out. The same command, it has already been there, but we already know what the command is. It's the namespace ingress, get service, or white, and the name. Now, we got this IP address. This is the same IP address that I defined in the internal dot, internal hyphen ingress dot YAML file, if you remember, I showed you, right? Right here. That's why it is, it's gonna be internal ingress. Cool. Let me clear this out. Now, the two applications that I, <clears throat> I have showed you, 
these are the very simple uh, applications hello world and hello world ingress with a single image aks hello world image which is uh, already available or used by microsoft all the time is there so let me run that uh, aks hello world.yaml under ingress basic once this is done i'm going to run the another yaml file for the another application which is ingress demo and once this is done i'm going to run the routing routing uh, ingress hello world ingress.yaml which contains the routing i I'll, i can show you right here hello world ingress.yaml if you see here it says if it goes to hello world one then it should go to this service and if it goes to hello world 2 it should go to this service right so that just like in the application gateway so let me quickly uh, run this as well qctl apply with uh, ingress routing rule through hello world.ingress hyphen ingress.yaml and once the rules are created then what we need to do we need to simply run a test pod uh with the help of this command kubectl it we want it in a uh, interaction mode and it's a base ubuntu image and under the same uh, namespace ingress basic and once it is done we need to install curl and we'll update it so that why we are installing curl so that we can try to curl hello world and hello world uh, uh, 2 with the with the uh IP address that we have defined. <clears throat> so if I do curl hyphen L H T T P and it would be what was the IP 10.0.240.170, right? So so that this dog is crazy, it's just barking next to my window. I'm so sorry for this disturbance. But we got this, right? And <clears throat> We are almost there. Now, if I try to browse this with uh, hello world two, now it will land, it will uh, direct the traffic to the an another, uh, it is not found. I'm okay, I did this mistake. Uh, it's, it's happening because of dog, trust me. It's just getting into my head. I just want to, you see, we are on the ingress demo now. I think I should pause this until the dog goes away. Anyways, this one is done. That's wonderful. Now let me exit or it's fine. So our ingress is working fine internally. It is diverting the traffic to, to the very, to the one of the application as per the request. Now I'm gonna use this ADQ uh, or oh, not this. We're gonna use the application gateway. Uh, application gateway going to the backend pool and I'm going to use the IP address for this ingress that we have used 10.0.240.170 as in backend through this application gateway. Now I can also go ahead and enable the WAF rules for here. So application gateway would uh, just sending all the traffic to the ingress after filtering through the WAF and this ingress will be diverting the traffic as per the rules configured inside, right? In our case, we have these two rules configured. If, the, if, if anybody try to access the IP, it goes to the AKS uh, uh, image. And if anybody tries to access IP slash hello world two, it will go to the ingress. So now we have this, let me quickly grab the public IP address for the app gateway and try to browse. Hopefully this will lend to the default page. Welcome to the AKS, wonderful, that's all we want. Now, if I try hello world, the, again, I missed this, <clears throat> and two, right? It should go to the ingress, see? And this, uh, this configuration is on the ingress, not on the application gateway. And if I go and do the Kubernetes service and you'll see something interesting. There is, it's not an ingress controller. Application gateway is a separate Azure resource. Ingress is a separate Azure resource in this scenario and ingress is an internal. 
So this was the lab. I, I just tried to wrap up as soon as possible, but when you perform it, in, it will take uh, at least 40 to 50 minutes. So in this lab, what we learned, uh, we created the internal uh, ingress, Nginx ingress with the help of Helm. And then we created two application and configured the routing rules in the ingress. And we tested internally and then put this ingress as a backend for the application gateway and tested externally and it worked. So that's what we learned in this lab. Well, thank you for watching and you have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.